A variety of sports have come under disrepute due to representatives using performance enhancement drugs. But how are athletes dealing with the pressures of being in such environments? The use of steroids, EPO and other substances have become more common in gym use. Yeah, I would assume so, yeah. I mean, what's a quick way to get results, you know? Take something that's going to help you out. Especially if you're sort of in amongst lads or girls that already do that. You know, it's a culture, you get influenced by the culture. Um, at the same time, I think maybe the overuse of supplements might have increased as well. And what you might do is turn to something like steroids, uh, where, you know, it might enable you to enhance your physique or, or your conditioning, etc. So I think probably uh, with social media aspect and with like, the increased pressure on professionalism in sport, I think the steroid abuse has uh, probably grown a lot larger through that. Why does one athlete, compared to another, choose to take these substances? Um, it's all about ethics, I think. I think it's about the person. Um, it's obviously illegal. It's, uh, it's not frowned upon within the fitness world, I don't think, but a lot of people do see it as uh, cheating within fitness. One sport that has come under the spotlight for doping, as of recent, is boxing. But is it just narcotics that the sport has to watch out for? Um, I'm not too sure how strict it is over here. For the title fights, you get checked. But um, blood doping is a lot harder to check because it's only blood being put back in. Still illegal, still not supposed to be going on. But I think that's probably going on more than PEDs. UK Anti-Doping Agency issued this statement. Under the 2015 World Anti-Doping Code, any athlete or athlete support personnel found guilty of an ADR fee may be suspended from all sport for four years. Involvement in an ADR fee committed by another person, such as helping to cover up that violation, is also sanctioned with a ban of up to four years. Helping someone commit a doping violation or avoid detection is sanctioned in the same way as that violation. Former Javelin bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games, Kelly Morgan, who is now the number one contender for the women's boxing WBC title, is all too familiar with the drug testing process. I mean, I'm, I'm from um, international athletics. Um, I was drug tested randomly at my home, week in, week out. I, I, I'm so against drug taking. Do you think um, other competitors may take these enhancements? I have no idea. In the men's game, obviously, there's been two very recent, um, yeah, uh, kind of discoveries, which, which is such a, sh I mean, it's, it's just such a shame. But this is high level sport and it's about money, especially in the men's game. The money difference between the men and the females game is huge. So, you know, where there's money, there's people cheating. For some athletes, it's not just about taking performance enhancements. They go to even more extreme measures. Yeah, some of the, uh, some of the weights people have to do are ridiculous, you know. Um, I mean, apprentices they have to claim seven pounds, so bottom weight, we ain't stone claim seven of that, which is seven seven. And obviously, fully grown blokes trying to get into that. It's hard, like, you know. Um, so a lot of people take Seneca, um, uh, pills that pregnant women take that make you weird, you take that. And there's a lot of flipping that goes on. I had a lot of flipping. Can you just explain what flipping is? Um, basically, you'd have uh, if you hadn't eaten for a few days, or even if you do eat, you'd, you'd eat, drink a fizzy drink, so you get a bit of fizzy stomach, and put your fingers down your throat, and bring everything you've eaten back up. Usually, about a half hour to an hour later, and then, and then you feel full, but there's nothing in your body, so your weight's fine. Have you felt any pressure yourself to do it? Uh, not to do that, no. But I have. I felt pressure to do a uh, and things like that. Um, which is obviously a uh, laxative that doesn't really show up in drug tests. The pressure on athletes to perform is higher than ever, but is the reward worth the risk when it involves your health and reputation? 